At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So I got a little bit of an update for you. So my knee, it's been about two weeks since I got the cortisone shot in my knee and it's feeling really good. It's feeling better than what it was before the cortisone shot. People have been asking, where's the vlog been? Have you quit hockey? Did you retire? Every game was canceled because all the other teams in the area were getting the COV. Everybody on the team, I think except for me and then our two anti-vaxxers haven't gotten it. Everybody else has. So we've been down, we've been canceling games left, right and center. I'm hoping that we're gonna play Sunday because I'd like to, if my knee feels good, I'd like to start for this Sunday's game. I've already been told. Whenever I'm ready to go, you get the start. Yeah, she's 16 seconds in. You want to? Oh, we're going. Oh okay. yeah. This is IQ Field. This is like uh, Monster Energy, Red Bull for Sweden. It's really good. I came in today, and all these cans are here. I called Coach. He says, "I've had her." So I'm just gonna take one of these and see you later. <laughs> here we go, cowboy. Cause I'm a cowboy on the steel horse I ride. No, don't, don't, we don't have insurance for that. Don't, don't do that. Oh. I'm trying not to, to rush it because I'm, I'm close. I'm really close right now. I'm not doing butterflies, just shots in the feet. Normally a lot of heat for this, but uh, max for lunch, smoky chipotle burger, chicken and bacon. A little expensive, definitely worth it. God. You know, every time I talk about how great the weather is here and how it's like Vancouver, it starts snowing. So I think I'm just gonna stop talking about the weather from now on. You know, I'm not a very uh, superstitious guy by any means. So I'm trying to like shake up a bunch of things. Like right now, uh, I'm about to go get a haircut, get the mullet kind of back in running order because last time I was in running order, things are going well. There's uh, a little bit too much party in the back going on. We got to kind of dial it back in a bit. Somebody like strikes a match beside him, my whole hair will blow up in flames. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for this time. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Talk to you later. So, look at this. My mother's gonna hate this again. <laughs> she has two penises. Knee <laughs> 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 felt good yesterday. Maybe we can build on that today. Cool. Shots from the feet. In the center, and I'm just gonna shot butterfly. Give me a couple seconds, nice and easy. Feels good. Surprisingly. Wow. Knee feels good. Knee feels better. But uh, a lot of that credit has to go to the uh, Beyond Yourself Amino IQ. The great flavor, I'm telling you, man. Kool-Aid, straight up, zero calorie. Gets the brain stimulated. It's not a pre-workout. It's not a pre-workout, doesn't give you the issues, this is a real deal, brain stimulator. You love it. The drink? Yeah. The drink tastes good, you like it? See, look at this, real Perfect. deal. <laughs> yeah. Good for a Czech boy, yeah. Canadian boy, whatever you are. You're even a lady, so the 2% that watch this. Gotta try some. It's great to be back skating, and I feel like when you're injured, you're kind of on your own little island, like, you're the only one with that injury. You're not playing with the team. You're practicing maybe a little bit or maybe you're not even at all. You're just doing rehab. It's like one of the most lonely feelings out there. Maybe I'm back part of the team. Gotta be one of the greatest feelings. Things you can knock on me, 
my goaltending, my eating habits. Maybe you don't think I'm funny. Maybe you don't like my haircut. Maybe you think I'm ugly. There's a lot of things you can knock me for. One thing you cannot knock is that I know how to cook. Man, I'm gonna make a great housewife. And the fact that my woman is a massage therapist back home in Canada, and she's making all the money, and I'm not. I'm just gonna cook, clean, vacuum, take the cat for a walk, stuff like that. By the way, the um, uh, Brussels sprout recipe, it's Jonas Senroth, goalie for Orbro in the SHL. He's plant-based, he doesn't eat meat, but because I'm injured, I was like, well, I need more protein. So maple bacon cheeseburger and the maple bacon Brussels sprouts. What a day. I usually don't eat till like 11, sometimes even noon. I like starting my day off like fasting, but I'm less hungry throughout the day. When you skip and or you work out, and you don't eat in the morning, you just have like a cup of coffee and some greens, and then you eat at like two, it is like the best feeling in the world. It's like, it makes you appreciate food so much more. I gotta say, it's like one of my life goals. I wanna get to the point where like I'm rich enough one day where I can just go to like Starbucks back home every day at seven in the morning, order any coffee I want and not look at the bill. We're not there yet. So gas is 21 and a half crowns. That's about 325 for a liter. Three bucks. What? It's getting better. I mean, I'm skating. It's a step in the right direction. First one out, hard working kid. He feels good. Hey, I think I can play next week at this point. Yeah. Is it on? What is up with it, my friend? <laughs> What's up, guys? Wow. Logan Paul here. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Welcome to my. Bro, the lens is so. Fans. Your only fans? Tell the people Welcome. back home where you can subscribe. <laughs> Travis is uh, gonna make an OnlyFans. But I think he hasn't on. announced it yet, but it, it will happen. Don't worry. It's live, and we're all in the video. Clement, say hello to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> He's gonna have a shit on the editing to do later. <laughs> oh, it's a nice cat. Oh. <laughs> what do you need me? Camera. Smile. What do you think about this food, Johan? You want a cup of tea? Can I have a cup of tea? Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. Huh? Okay. With some biscuits? Look at that. Espresso house. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to audition for the food network. Have a good day, guys. Just a question. Time for a QA. Well, I came on. Yeah. Hey, look, we're on that TV thing. Strap on your skates. You're going in. I love when the neighbors walk by and they're watching me do QAs in the car. Cooper Lakanda, my boy, says, Everybody wants to be great until they realize that you eat, sleep, train, and repeat. That's one thing that I don't put in these videos, and I wish there was a way to kind of get that message across is that, like, although you only see like an 8 to 50 minute video, there's so many other things that go in. Like to my game throughout the day, especially like even when I'm injured, that you don't get to see. It's just a 24 7, 365 commitment. For a complete noob, what does a 580 mean? How does it differ from other gloves in the market? Uh, a 580 is something that was made for Patrick Qua. I have multiple videos on it in the uh, LeFave equipment reviews. It's like the sword of Excalibur. Jamie Phillips described to me one time in a video. When you know, you know. If you're the chosen one, you're the chosen one. If not, you go and use anything else. I love 580s. Mont Petit wants to know how much can someone earn in the SHL, how much can someone earn in Swedish Pro Leagues, and what expenses are paid. He goes through a bunch of other details. Now, I could be wrong, but just information that I've gathered, guys in the SHL can make from forty, fifty thousand dollars Canadian a year to half a million dollars Canadian a year. This is just what I've been told. I don't know if that's true or not. Guys in my bracket range, they're not getting paid, shall we say, but we're getting 
free shit. So sticks, gear, uh, bag, um, living paid for, flights paid for. That's that's what I'm looking forward to next year. I would love a paycheck. Honestly, I would love if a team just cut me a check for like five dollars a month, just to say, hey, I got a paycheck. But the sticks and all the free ice time and the bags and the uh, everything else that's included, that's the payment, shall we say. This isn't a question, but random uncredited quotes has been commenting on my videos every video for the last like four or five years. I don't know who the guy is, I would like to know, but shout out to him. The comments are always funny and top notch. You should do a goalie school in Alberta, Canada. My little brother is a two year bantam and has trouble getting up and moving officially in net. Definitely send him to you if you had a camp. 10, 12, 14, 16, I train like, like adults. So like to deal with like the majority of kids that don't want to be there and don't want to work and don't want to like get that grit, that sandpaper work ethic, I would, I would lose my marbles. If you are a kid like in this age range that needs some help, send me a message on Instagram right here. Um, I'm getting a lot of messages these days, but I'm trying to respond to everybody. So if you need some help, you have some questions, always hit me up here. I'll, I'll do my best to help you out. Cool Chase, are you tired of YouTube? Absolutely, I'm tired of YouTube. I really, really, really want to just play hockey and that's all I do. I love making these videos because I love sharing knowledge, sharing insights, sharing my experiences to try to help people, whether you're you know 10 years old and Winnipeg starting out as a goalie. If you're you know high school graduating to junior in the US, I want to help guys and want to provide knowledge and insight. That's what I love doing about this. It's just so cool to connect with all these different people and people in the hockey world. I'm so tired of filming and filming and filming and filming and filming, setting up cameras here, setting up cameras there, because that's what pays the bills, right? And I would love nothing more than to just put it all aside and to play on a team where I can make money, where I can pay my bills and live. If I could get that playing hockey, that'd be a dream. How do you deal with pessimism and the naysayers of people not wanting to chase down your dream? People don't understand. People that quit hockey, you know, first year junior B, so many people just don't understand what it takes to, you You have a dream, you want to accomplish it. People say, get a real job, go work in an accounting firm, go work in a cubicle. I know what I want to do. I know what it's going to take. And I'm going to be doing it for a long time. Water off a duck's back. One thing you can't brush aside, new videos every Monday and Thursday. I'd like to thank you for watching. I want to see you for the next Monday and Thursday upload. 10 a.m. Eastern, let's do it. Hit the subscribe button in my podcast, Sing the Biscuit. You want an exclusive early access look into what's going on in my life, what's going on in the vlog, what's coming up, and some great stories with Pat Shea. I mean, did I tell you how good looking he is? Look at this man. Sing the Biscuit, Apple, Spotify, video version on YouTube. Give us some love. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.